All right, so I'm gonna attempt to make low carb bagels. So hopefully this turns out well. I saw a video and I will link the actual recipe into the description below. Uh, but this is supposed to be really low carb. It is 7.3 carbs per bagel. And if you're doing net carbs, it is 4.3 carbs. Um, so pretty good. Um, bagels and bread have tons of carbs. Uh, so this is very simple. It's five ingredients. Now, not necessarily cheap. If you already have almond flour, it can be cheap. But this little package of almond flour, 16 ounces, was almost $9. I did get it at Walmart. I don't know if there's anywhere else cheaper to get it, but that's where I found it at. So you'll need two and a half cups of mozzarella cheese, two eggs, two ounces of cream cheese, baking powder. They did say gluten-free. I could not find any, but I did buy new baking powder because somebody in the comments was saying theirs didn't work and they weren't sure if their baking powder was expired. It was only a dollar, so I went ahead and just bought a new one just in case. And then almond flour, not almond meal. Someone said that they tried it with coconut flour and they were not a fan, so we will just give this a try and see how it goes. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is mix our dry ingredients into a smaller bowl. So I have almond flour, which is one and a half cups. Oop, find a bag to fit in. Now a couple comments said that if it feels gritty, I might blend it because it is a little like whoop, gritty to kind of smooth it out. I wish I had a food processor. Excuse me in the background. All right, so that. Whew. I'm gonna fill this up. And I'm gonna actually see if I can blend this to kind of help get rid of that like gritty feeling. Okay, so I think a food processor would help um, even though this is it's gonna be mixed all together. It kind of warmed it up and uh, made it really clumpy. So, if you have a food processor, that probably will help. Or like a, uh, one of those like specialty blenders. I don't know what they're called. All right, so one tablespoon, and I'm gonna check this, double check it because, yes, one tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. And I'm gonna just have this sitting over here. Hold the syrup! Hold on. You can stir when I get it all together. So I'm just gonna have this all mixed up. I'm not gonna whisk and whisk and break up these little pieces. All right, so I'm gonna set that to the side. And now we're gonna start on our cheese mixture. So we're gonna take one and a half. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna mix up the cheese. It's one and a half, two and a half cups of mozzarella. There's one, two, whoops, and a half. I have ever measured cheese before. <laughs> All right, and then two ounces of cream cheese. Put that in the trash. No, and I would do it, Mommy. I have to get it out of here. And it says into cubes. So let's see, two ounces is right here. I love that they mark it on there. Can I just two ounces is it right here. Yep. Can I just do it? Hold a second. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut these into little pieces and then you're just gonna heat it up until it's all melted and that you can stir it up and mix it together. So I'll probably do like 30 second increments, maybe like 45 seconds and then 30 till it's all I need a mixed. Okay, so we've got our cheese part right here melted. We have our almond flour and baking soda. And I'm gonna put my eggs into a bowl and I'm gonna mix these if you go check me out on Instagram, you can see what Hannah did with about uh, nine, 11 eggs, I think it was. <laughs> I had a nice mess to clean up. Okay, so it said beat these instead of 
mixing them all in and I'm just gonna make sure. Okay, I don't want that to be too hot because um, <laughs> it might not taste good or it might scramble the eggs. All right, so I'm mixing in. Oh, I could have mixed them in that bowl, but you know. So now we're gonna mix this together. Be careful because the cheese is, you know, stiff. Try to heat up the cheese a little bit. Oh. I think the cheese. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should try my hand. Oh my gosh, this is not what it looks like. What the heck? Disaster. Oh, I'm so excited about it. You said excited? Yeah, now I have to use more cheese and more expensive almond flour. Oh my gosh. Oh. You have to wash your hands. You have to wash your hands. Whoa. You. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, there's no way you could do this. I don't know what to do. Okay, so the recipe does say, knead with your hands until dough forms. The dough will be very sticky, but keep kneading if the dough becomes hard before it fully mixes. Okay, so we just have to keep mixing. Okay, so let's see how long this takes. I'm gonna put down, not even how it's supposed to work. Not microwave it if it gets too warm. Well, just so it has something to, that's just not even the same thing. Alright, let's speed this part up. <laughs> We'll just give this a try. So it's supposed to make six. So I'm gonna cut it like a oh dear, like a pizza. It's really sticky. Start with 10 minutes and then go from there. Um, some of the sizes are different. The recipe makes six, but I guess I just didn't equal it out good enough, so I have seven. So I actually need two, four, five, six, seven, yeah. For some reason, I feel like I can't count, so I need to adjust the count on, I need to adjust the count on my fitness pal. So, um, I'm gonna let these cool down. I don't, I mean, it can't be that much doughy. I'm just worried about like the bigger ones. So I'm gonna let these cool off and then I'm gonna slice one open 
Put some green cheese on it. <laughs> and eat it. I'm so excited. All right, so here is a bagel. They're not like fully cooled down. I'm gonna touch them now, so. They're very easy to cut. Look at that. That's amazing. Ooh, that's oh my nice. gosh. And it smells good. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put some cream cheese. Let me try it without it. Um, these are amazing. Nope, hop down. So, there is a weird taste. I'm not sure what that taste is, but like a flavor. I don't know if it's all the cheese, but let me put some cream cheese on here. They're probably toasted it. But you could use this as like a sandwich bread. Oh, I'm so I need some. Hold on. You're rocking on my toe. Okay. Mommy, can you make me a sandwich? Sure. Okay. I want one. I want one. That is so good. A very so low carb. Good. So a regular bagel has like around 41 grams of carbs. This has about seven, six or seven grams of carbs, depending on like how many of these you make. Stop, you're making a mess. So depending on how many of these you actually make, um, you know, you'd have less carbs if you made them smaller. I'm gonna toast that one up. Um, but you could use this for breakfast. You could make a breakfast sandwich. You can make a sandwich. You can make some garlic bread out of it. I mean, oh, that's so good. Mm. I am one low carb, happy person. Mm, love it. Two thumbs up.